Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. Today I'm going to have a quick look at my RC collection. A lot of people ask and say how much have I got. So this is the garage. This is where I keep a lot of it. So these are the military trucks I've got. You've seen some of these on my channel, but definitely not them all. So moving on from there, I have the RC cars up on the shelf here. And I think you may have seen this one, but probably not this one. And then I've got my bugs. Faithful Bugs 2W, which will be going shortly, but more of that later. Shelf above, I've got the small little RC planes. These are all little two-channel ones. They're just very much... Uh, they've normally got the twin motors on, so that's how you steer them. So I've got some of those. And then down on this shelf, tends to be where I keep stuff if I don't know what I'm going to do with it, really. So stuff, some of, a lot of stuff on this shelf will probably go. Uh, again, you'll have probably seen some of this. This is the JYU Hornet, which is a GPS drone that goes ridiculously quick. Really nice toy, comes with the screen and everything. I love that, it's bugs. 3 Pro, which you'll have seen. The X drone, piece of garbage, let's just go past that. Bugs 5W. And then I've got some Hubsons at the back here, if you can see. And then just some general stuff. An old Yashin 250 racer. Uh, I've still got my trusty Visuo. This one, as you can see, you got a GPS. I put a camera in. I thought GPS. What am I on about? I put an FPV camera and receiver inside it, a BTX inside it. Flies on the jumper. So this is, like I say, what I keep stuff. So the Bugs 5W, the Bugs 3 Pro, and the, all them hubs, and they'll all be going because of the way I've changed my channel, so I won't be keeping them anymore. Moving over to here, so this is my workbench, so this is where I build planes. So I build planes in here, and I also have a 3D printer in here. This is a Trunksy 3D printer. I also keep that in here if I want to do some building for the planes. I need to make motor mounts or what have you. You won't have seen this on the channel yet, you might have done. This is the Ranger D2, so it was completely finished. I've got the camera and VTX in it, but I'm now putting a Maytek F405 wing controller, so you'll see that coming up on the channel soon. And it's going to have GPS and a really long range and obviously a long battery life because I've got a force I can fit a 4003 S battery in here. Up here I've got some stuff you probably have seen on the channel. I've got the Radjet, which I don't think you've seen. Little Spirit 800mm glider. And then I've got the uh, XK800. Fantastic piece of kit. I still love that. On the roof I have the Durafly Bonanza 950mm. Little foamy, really nice thing to fly, really easy to fly. I have a Zlin 50, which is balsa, and that runs on 4S. And then here I have this big beast here, is a Phoenix 2000, so it's a 2 meter glider, powered. Nice thing to fly, really easy to fly, one of the easiest things to fly. So this is where I do plane building and stuff like that in here. This isn't where I keep... Uh, I'd do anything to do with the quads. I build the quads in the other room, which I'll show you in a minute. And then here is where I keep all the decent stuff. So I have a Phantom 4 there. Um, I think I've got my F11 in that case, my um, DJI goggles. I've then got GoPro Karma, Femi A3. Uh, I can't even remember what that is. Mavic Zoom, my Femi x Pavet and Nafe, Unique Breeze, DJI Spark, Mavic Pro, Tello, uh, what's in here? So behind there we have, in that bag there we have the Altel Evo, and in this bag we have the Xeno, and in this bag I have my Mavic Air. And then on the top shelf we have uh, Parrot Bebop, that's a Parrot Swing, really nice, but I love that thing. The plane that you have seen, definitely the little XK A600. Uh, Zod Dart, and in there I have my theme, um, sorry, it's the Army 4K drone. So this is where I keep the decent stuff, this stuff will all stay, and this stuff will be, a lot of this will be coming up on the channel. And then over here, we have yet more cars. So you've probably seen a lot of these on the channel. 
this thing was 25 quid since then i've upgraded it by putting a different receiver and i've changed the esc and i put new servo in it and it's still only got about 45 quid and it's an amazing piece of kit and then here i do have some boats so some of these you'll see on the channel and again some not and then finally i have my mini helicopters i still only i kept a selection of minis that i fly about with and up there i have i can't even remember bug six and ASM a CGO 35 which is actually quite decent not like the other one the 33 was it the piece of junk so this is what's in my garage so I'm just gonna so this is the room where I film and also I do the quads in here so I build quads in here and obviously so I set them all up so this is the rig I use for filming so when you see the video this is where they're produced and then I then have some more stuff in there k 15 some cars and stuff and then on the shelves I have Hudson 501 SS car, little plane, uh, various things on here you can see going on, but quite a lot of stuff. And there's all my mini quads, all like mini FPV racers, and some bigger stuff, some 250 size stuff in there. Uh, this is what I'm in the middle of doing at the minute. This is a Sonic model AR wing. I've just got to finish it off and wire the camera in. I've fitted everything, but I just need to wire it in. And this will be on my channel very shortly. This is an expert. I bought it to mess around with the body second hand. Just wanted to have a go with it because I already had the XK520. So I wanted to have a go with the Horizon Hobby one. I obviously bought it at a ridiculous price new. And this is where I set beta flight up on this little mini PC here. And then from the camera, I can go straight back into the Mac and then I just transfer the video straight across if it's 1080p if it's 4k I'll do it in a different room because I've got a PC in there and this is the 3d printer I use for in here for doing you've seen a review on this thing the trunks is quite old now this hasn't been out that long fantastic printer so I use that for printing quad parts and then so I'm going to show you the other bit of the room so I'm going to show you the other bit of the room which is my second passion if you like so I'm very much into gaming, I have a PlayStation 4 and all the rest of it, but I've also got this lot. So this is all my vintage collection. I'll just show you, I'll just get down here and show you what I've got. Excuse the mess of wire. So the PS2, Nintendo, PlayStation 1, GameCube, Sega Dreamcast, Atari Jaguar, original Xbox, Sega Mega Drive, Amiga CD32, and then up there I have all the Atari 2600, Philips CDI player, which is quite rare now. And then I have the two screens connecting. All these are connected to two screens. And as you can see, I've got an Xbox 360 and a PlayStation 3. So this is like my fun room, if you like. I'll come in here and mess around with the old consoles. I still love the new stuff, but I also like the old stuff. So I hope this wasn't too boring for you. Some people have asked how many drones do you have. I also have about another 30 that are boxed that are either ready for sale or I have now putting up for sale very shortly upstairs and I also have about another 10 planes in the loft that are too big to really just lay down in the garage so I have a serious collection of RC stuff which will diminish because some stuff you've seen on this video won't be here anymore like the Hubson 501 SS I've just showed you that'll be going because I don't really fly these things anymore I'm playing with fixed wings a bit more at the minute as well so the drones will go. The massive collection of drones you see, which is the main stuff, which is all the camera goodies, they'll just stay. So, hope this is hope that you've liked this. Something I've not done before. Different kind of video for me. If you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Make me give me a comment. Tell me what you think. If you want some, if you like this kind of thing. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel, if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell, there's plenty more good stuff coming up.